Hello, Sharks. My name is Michaela Ulmer. And I'm Theo Ulmer, Michaela's dad. I'm the owner of BC Lemonade, and today I'm here to ask for $60,000 for 10% equity in my company. The story of me and the bees started in 2004 when I was four and a half years old. My parents wanted to teach me about a little bit about finances. They said either you can do some more chores around the house to earn extra allowance, or you can save up some money and earn money somehow else. So of course I thought I already had enough chores to do around the house. So I wanted to find a way to earn money. And it was around that time where I learned at my kindergarten that there are business fairs for kids in Austin. And I realized that I could sell a product for a day without needing a permit. I got a cookbook for my great granny Helen from the 1940s with her favorite recipe of flaxseed lemonade. And then I also got stung by two bees in one week, which was incredibly painful. And I was terrified of the bees and a lot of insects from that moment forward. But my parents encouraged me to do research research on the bees and I ended up learning that they are incredibly important pollinators, that a lot of the foods that I eat every day are pollinated by the bees and also that they are dying at an alarming rate. And so I decided I want my stand to help save the bees and I ended up coming up with honey sweetened flaxseed lemonade and I could donate a portion of the proceeds that I made to organizations helping save the bees. So I dressed up in a bee suit, which was my mom's idea, and sold my product. I was able to talk to people about the bees and exchange bee facts. Before Shark Tank, Me and the Bees was a local Austin brand. We were producing it in a commercial kitchen that was pretty much five minutes away from our house. And we had four flavors. We were delivering it ourselves. My mom would drive me and then I would go up with the lemonade in my invoice and deliver it to the local businesses. But we were quickly outgrowing where the product was being sold and we needed mentorship to how on how to get the company to the next level. So when the African American Chamber of Commerce in Austin said called my parents and said, hey, Shark Tank's holding auditions. I also was a fan of Shark Tank and I wanted to see my company grow and realize this could be huge for me and the bees. And so did they and so we ended up accepting and so before we knew it, we were on the show pitched the company the idea i created a product that was both good for you and tastes great at the same time lemonade anyone sampled out the products this is ginger so sharks which one of you will be sweet join my team and help me build my american dream Mr. Damon, he wanted to invest and mentor us. I'm going to give you $60,000 for 25%. So we can not only grow the company, but also grow ourselves as entrepreneurs. Thank you. Thank you. And after that, it was kind of just a matter of where to first. And so he invested in Me and the Bees. One thing that I'd like people to realize is the scale of Me and the Bees today. A lot of people still think that it's a lemonade stand or where we were right after we got on Shark Tank. but. Now we're in over 1,500 stores across 40 states. We have sold 2 million bottles of Me and the Bees. We now have a whole team of marketing and sales and ops to keep the company running while I'm in school. And we are making a measurable impact on saving the bees, not only through donating a portion of the Me and the Bees profits, but also by having our very own nonprofit. So some of my favorite parts about being an entrepreneur and experiences have been being able to travel to South Africa and teach South African girls and aspiring entrepreneurs about financial responsibility and see them turn their ideas in to local businesses. Being awarded the Eleanor Roosevelt Valkyll Medal of Honor, that was such an honor, and especially to be recognized for like something I'm so passionate about was amazing. Being able to introduce former President Barack Obama. The President of the United States, Mr. Barack Obama. And then also meet with um, Ms. Michelle Obama, saving people who, who I've looked up to and been inspired by for such a long time. And for them to see what work I've done and recognize it, and also think that I'm suitable to introduce him was an incredible honor. One of my role models is Madam CJ Walker. She was the first black millionaire to grow her own company and do it successfully. So I just think that her changing the status quo of who can be an entrepreneur is someone who I'm definitely standing on the shoulders of right now. Um, another one is my parents for not only believing in me when I was a kid who dreamed of changing the world with the Lemonade Sam, but also supporting and learning with me. Like COVID wasn't a break. COVID was kind of a, a break for school, 
it wasn't a break for business owners. In fact, sometimes it was, it was, we have to keep working even harder. I'm learning so much from other small business owners, either through text or through meetings or through mentorships or just watching them grow as well. Find a cause that you're passionate about. The more passionate you are, the more fun growing this company will be. And I think like the more motivating it will be. My biggest advice to someone who's a Gen Z or just a kid who wants to start their own company is to continue dreaming like a kid as you come up with your idea and grow your company. And by dreaming like a kid, I mean dreaming of the possibilities instead of the obstacles that get in your way. Because when we dream big and dream of those possibilities, we see different aspects of business that adults may not be able to see or I think, like, I mean, only a kid would think to, that they're able to change the world with a lemonade stand. CNBC celebrates Black history 